Yo, what is going on? This is the Jay Dennis Podcast for Wednesday, December 7th, 2016. And I hope this is the last Wednesday pod <laughs> this is the last Wednesday podcast that I do for a long time. It's been a busy semester and it's been a long time coming. But I, Jay Dennis, am officially done with this semester. This crazy ass semester, which has tortured myself, you guys having to listen to the occasional Wednesday podcast instead of the usual Tuesday. But the truth is, I want to say I'm officially done with college, but I'm not going to exude that level of confidence until the grades come out, okay? That's just a cold, rotten truth. Is out of my five classes, I know three of them I did well. I'm done. Never have to do those again. But my two finance classes that I took this week, uh, the two uh, finals, I'm on the fence about those. Now, I have a good relationship with both professors. I'm positive I'm going to pass and do fine, uh, do well, and I'm going to graduate. But it's kind of like when you desperately need a job and you finally get hired, but you don't want to celebrate because you're like, well, I haven't been trained yet. I haven't established myself at the company yet. I don't have a paycheck. So it's like, yeah, I got a job, but is it really time to celebrate yet? So I think it's safe to say that by the next podcast, which will be out on Tuesday, that will be the one where you just hear me. You just, you just turn on the podcast and you just hear, yes, it's over. Ah! You know, but I can't do that yet. Like even today, as I finished my last uh, exam, like I didn't feel that relief. You know, I did pick up my cap and gown today and about eight people you know, that were there at the alumni center were like, oh, congratulations. <laughs> and yeah, it felt great. I felt good. But I was just like, I don't know if I'm ready to celebrate yet because I haven't seen my final grades yet. Until I see that <laughs> I at least got a C in two of my finance classes. The other three classes can go fuck themselves. I know that I crushed it in those classes. You know, that's... That's that. That's what it's been since the last podcast. Um, I did my marketing one last Monday, and then I recorded a podcast. Uh, last Thursday, I went in and took my real estate final. Got a 92 on it. Took me less than 10 minutes. Uh, let me see. What was it? It was... Uh, no? Yeah, yeah. Tuesday, yesterday... Um, I took Monday off. I didn't have to go to school. Uh, Tuesday, yesterday morning, I went in first thing in the morning, as soon as the testing center opened, and I took my management final, which I'm sure I aced, and I was in a testing lab with some 20-odd other students that got there first thing in the morning, 7 a.m., meaning I got an amazing parking spot, and I was probably sitting in the lab with about 20 over... Uh, 20 other overachievers and I'm a bit of an overachiever but I'm not very successful at it (laughs) anybody can be anybody can be an overachiever but uh, of course you could be a failure at it that's kind of what I've been this semester I've done way better in my academics but still not like straight A's (laughs) 4.0 and that's just me exuding That's the word of the day, exuding my insecurities for the fact that I never was an amazing student. I was like a B student my entire life, and at least half my classes in my bachelor program were probably like Cs. Um, And this is probably the first semester in a while that I've gotten an A. Probably a couple A's. We'll see. We'll see. (laughs) Fucking Cs. But anyway, and then... uh. Yeah, yesterday I I took an exam at 1 o'clock, and then today I took an exam at 1 o'clock, and now I'm done. Recording this podcast at 6 p.m. 
Uh, Wednesday evening, you know, December 7th, 2016. And what else is there to talk about besides the fact that I'm done with school? This excuse is, like, going to be out of my life, you know. (laughs) I really hope next week I just end up saying, Oh, man, all that worrying I did was for nothing. You are going to graduate. You got your cap and gown. What kind of professor is going to stand between you and your bachelor's degree? Just because you didn't perform so well on an exam. That was the problem with both of my finance classes was I did not hit the ground running with them. But they both had projects. I did well on the projects. I did well on the second exams. And now for the finals, I'm kind of on the fence about how I did. So like the whole thing's in a balance just because I didn't perform well At the very beginning. You see, if you hit the ground running in a class, you're more likely to succeed. That's why I had no worries about my other classes. But, (sighs) alright, enough of that bullshit. As you probably noticed, I'm back on my good setup. I was like, what am I going to do with my life? I don't have any homework, I don't have any shit to do. And I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. You got seven people out there that you need to entertain, possibly, with your goddamn podcast. Which probably lost some momentum and lost some quality. During the course of this semester. But I promise you. It's going to come back full force. You know. Starting now. Starting. Go. And. You know. If I don't have at least. At least once a month. If a neighbor doesn't come banging on my door. Saying you know. Why are you screaming? And why do they talk like that? I have no idea. But it just. It adds some flavor profiles to this. uh, Ever so bland podcast. But what else is up? Um, my name is Jay Dennis. I am the lead singer slash main only project person in my band, Raptor Riot. It's new metal. Are you a fan of old school 90s hip hop rap slash metal, new metal, rap metal, rap rock, a little bit of alternative, you know, Limp Bizkit, Crazy Town. Freaking old school Lincoln Park, Papa Roach, Corn, Deftones, Primer 55. You know? That's what we're all about. Yeah. Look at that. No background sound. You know why? You know why? Because I got three new appliances installed over the course of the last week and a half, maybe. Yeah. I have a new refrigerator that doesn't fucking leak. I'm just waiting on that goddamn ice maker again. Why can't I have a fridge that doesn't have an ice maker? The fucking guys that deliver it say it was an error on maintenance's part, and then maintenance says it was an error on the delivery guy's part. It's like, I don't give a fuck! I just want my goddamn ice maker! So that I don't have to make it analog anymore, manually. You know? Also got a new dryer that doesn't go... You probably, over the course of this podcast, you know... And what? What's it been? I see. It's been about eight, maybe eight months. I started this in March. Eight months. You may have occasionally heard a dryer on in the background. And if you ever heard, a, that was my fucking dryer. My new one doesn't do it. The maintenance manager went through my apartment and said, dude, these appliances are ancient. Like, I didn't even have to beg. It's just like, dude, can you just replace all my appliances? They suck. My dishwasher doesn't wash dishes. My dryer takes multiple times. To dry my shit, probably spending way too much money on energy. And in the midst of all that appliance replacing, all these people coming in my apartment, moving stuff, replacing stuff, all that good stuff, the light outside of my door that leads outside, the light, the outdoor light, has been unable to be replaced for the last two fucking weeks. I don't know what it is. I've given up on it. It's probably what they want. But I have become that bitchy tenant that just, like, has to be on top of everybody. And I've had to let the manager of the apartment have it. But it's like, this is just a really shitty community. Like, there's some good people that live here. There's I have some good neighbors. And even some of the people that work here, like some of the maintenance guys, some of the leasing agents or whatever, like, they seem like good people. But it's just like... There are assholes that drive through here like like maniacs, ignoring stop signs, driving way too fast, like kids and animals are out playing in the street sometimes. And some asshole keeps hitting the gate. 
It's a gated community, but more than half the time, the gate's fucking broken. So it's like, what's the point? I don't know, but we're only going to live here for another seven months or so. Getting the fuck out of here. This is... And again, as I've said on a Jay Dennis YouTube video, I will reveal where the fuck I live so I can tell you to never fucking move here. And anytime I see new people, like, trying to apply to live here, I'm just like, dude, don't fucking live here. Like, unless you're like me and you absolutely need, like, a convenient location that's equidistant from work and school, and that's the only reason you live here for the sake of convenience, don't ever fucking... Hey, listen, listen, listen here, you asshole. Don't fucking live here. If you know what's good for you, you're not gonna fucking live here, okay? Get the fuck out of my sight! And, of course, I do that out of love, you know? <laughs> Poor kid. Uh... But yeah, that's that's really like I didn't even write any notes for this episode. I got I'm done with class. Uh I put up a new video on my YouTube channel, which is the only place where my podcast is right now. Um my cat wasn't feeling well a couple weeks ago. Her colon was all backed up, and we finally managed to get a fresh stool sample to take to the vet. She's fine now. She's been cool for the past two weeks. You know, we gave her antibiotics, some laxatives, and she finally took an epic shit. And it was like, when, when, when you love an animal, and they're not feeling well, and, like, they need to poop, like, her colon was backed up, so she wasn't able to digest them, so she kept throwing up. It's sad. So when you finally see, the, like, this animal that you love dearly, that you would protect... With your own life eight times over, just take the most massive epic shit. It just brings so much joy to you, you know? Uh, I hope the levels on this are good. Hold on a second. Okay. It's funny. I probably shouldn't even have to adjust these levels. I'm, like, sabotaging myself. But let's talk about, let's talk about something uh, that's getting kind of fresh this time around. You guys remember back in July when this awesome game called Pokemon Go came out? And everybody was just like, huh, Rest in peace, Pokemon Go, 2016 to 2016. Huh? It's like, dude, there are still millions of active users playing the game. It's just all the fucking bandwagon idiots that feel the need to always be on every fucking trend. Like... Women that wear those fucking Xena Warrior Princess Spartan shoes. Like, who the fuck wants to bang you in those? Or those, those, those guys with the fucking little mini ponytail bun bullshit at the top that doesn't require a tie. It's like, dude, have you seen your torso? Nobody wants to fuck you. Do you really think a good hairdo is going to save you? I used to rely so strongly on good hair. Like, I had a lot of good hairdos. I had a faux hawk. I had a really good fade. That 40s looking classy look. Years ago, before all these beta cucks. <laughs> beta cucks. I hate that. Um, started doing it. Yeah, I did it before it was cool. But I had a good torso. And a good face. And a good dick. So it's like, I don't know. I can't relate. I've never... Like, my torso is decent right now. But... It's not as bad as some of these guys that just rely on, huh, maybe if I wear boat shoes and tie up the top of my hair, which is barely long enough to put into a bun, and uh, wear Adidas tracksuit pants that don't really highlight my good legs. I don't know what it is about Adidas. Like, 2016 really did bring back a lot of 90s nostalgia and goodness. Like, Adidas really came back. Like, tracksuits, those were big in the 90s, and now they're big this year. Like, every fucking person wears them now. All ages! You know what I'm saying? But, like, it's, it's either people just have worse bodies, which wouldn't surprise me, or there's something about the way that the, the pants are stitched. It looks like it gives your legs no integrity at all. Like, it's really hard to look flattering in those Adidas tracksuit pants. And sometimes I feel that way, but 
I think I have some sort of definition in muscle in my legs, so that might be a saving grace. Like, you're supposed to be athletic to a degree to wear goddamn tracksuit pants. You can't just be some fat fuck and thinking that you're cool and you're gonna get laid by wearing tracksuit pants when you never ran a goddamn mile in your life! Sorry. Um. Oh yeah, so I was gonna talk about Pokemon Go. Yeah, so, as you know, if you've, if you've played it consistently, they've had a couple of events, you know, uh, Halloween, Thanksgiving, they did some cool shit. Uh, they've made the updates, they made the game more fun to play, they've made it more user-friendly. Uh, I've been going to a lot of, uh, I've been going to a lot of nests. Nests! Nests! I've been going to a lot of nests, and, uh consistent spawn points it's not always clusters of pokemon that pop up but i did go to a squirtle nest today and that was the first actual nest where like shit just kept popping up and there was actually a cluster of four of them at one point it was fucking awesome i went to a charmander nest yesterday but it, no clusters came up it was just i had to walk around this lake and a bunch of just single ones would come up but i would say i caught about i don't know six or seven charmanders and then today, oh, fucking today, I caught like 12 Squirtles. So I finally have a Blastoise now. And I made sure that I didn't evolve a weak War Tortle. I took a high IV, uh, 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 a Squirtle with good stats, and I evolved it twice. So, unfortunately, my Blastoise, his moveset is Bite Hydro Pump, which... Is pretty good. It would be better if it was like a water move, quick attack, and then hydro pump, but bite's still pretty good. Just don't know who I'd use it against, because I'm not gonna fucking bite Executor. Maybe it'll be good against Ab uh, an Alakazam or something. Yeah! There's th that, that, that's one to grow on. Um, I'm trying to think what I want to do after this podcast. Do I. Do I want to go back to that Charmander nest? Like, I just want to fucking relax. Like, I don't have to do anything. I can get back to working out consistently. Um, I've been looking for a job or an internship or something. I'm trying to get promoted at my seasonal job. So, I just... Fuck! Sorry. Sorry about that. I, just, I bumped the wire. And uh, I didn't actually go to adjust it like some cool, you know, radio guy and be like, Ugh. I actually accidentally bumped it. And you guys suffered. So, sorry. Um, I don't know. But if you go on the sylphroad.com, sylph, like, you know, the company from the original game, the sylph scope, which you got to use on that cool looking ghost silhouette to see fucking Marowak or to identify ghost Pokemon and the uh, Lavender Town Tower. So, yeah, go on the sylphroad.com and, you know, share your location. And you will find nests, spawn points. Some are verified, some are unverified. People go there to uh, refute it or to confirm it. But because of that website, I have found a Machop nest, which has led me to get Machamp. I have found a Shelder nest, which unfortunately, I only caught four that time. I still haven't gotten a Cloister yet. And a migration happened, so I haven't found Shelder ever since. Um, Charmander, and then Squirtle. The most successful one being Squirtle. So, basically, at this point, like, this is great. It's taken me months of, like, active playing, but I don't always go to super populated areas, even though I live in a metro area. <laughs> but all the people that live in Orlando have told me to go to this park in Kissimmee, that's where you catch everything, but I still have yet to go to there. And there are people that have completed their Pokedex months ago, or nearly completed it, to all the Pokemon that are currently available. But, just to, to summarize, I have seen every single Pokemon that's currently available. And part of that is luck. So, somebody either GPS spoofing or somebody from Asia and Europe coming over here and putting a Mr. Bime and a Farfetch'd and a Kangaskhan on a gym and then me seeing it? I have them in my Pokedex now. Still haven't caught Tauros, but I've at least seen him. 
fucking... And I've caught... Okay, so I've seen 146, and we all know that there's 151, but the missing five are the three birds and Mewtwo and Mew. So I've seen 146, which is all of them right now, and I've caught 137. I'm missing Charizard, because Charmander is the least frequent starter that I see. I would say for every Charmander I see, I see about 20 Bulbasaurs. Um, I need Farfetch'd, I need Dugong, Cloister, so I need to find Seal and uh, Shelter Nests or hatch them or something, but I'm more than halfway there to getting them. I need to hatch a Hitmonlee, and I'm like one Dratini away from getting a Dragonite. But the truth is, I don't... I'm not quite sure if I have a... Well, let me check. I have... If I have a Dragonair that I want to evolve. Like, okay, here's my Dragonair. What are his stats? Okay, he's not weak, but he's not top tier. He's, he's strong. So if I wanted to put a good gym defender of a Dragonite up there, I might have mixed feelings about it, but... And right now, I'm working on saving up a bunch of coins to buy, uh, nine incubators, or eight incubators, so that I can just fucking hatch all these eggs, you know? I haven't bought an egg incubator in a hot minute. And, uh, during the Thanksgiving event where we got double XP, I got more than halfway to, uh, being done with level 29. I was trying to get to level 30, but I just, I didn't get enough done. I didn't catch enough Pokemon to, like, use a, an egg and, like, you know, Pidgey, Weedle, Caterpie grind my way through a bunch of XP. But right now I have Porygon as my buddy. So that when Generation 2 comes out, I can be closer to, uh, getting a Porygon candy, you know? Uh, getting Porygon too. Because I've only ever hatched one Porygon. I've never seen them in the wild. And I've hatched two Aerodactyls. I hatched a 10k egg yesterday. <laughs> I think I said Pterodactyl in a video or a podcast recently. And I was just like, oh, you idiot. It's Aerodactyl. Wait, hold on. I gotta triple check this shit now. Yeah, Aerodactyl. Yeah, I've hatched two of them. I hatched one yesterday and I was hoping it would be Hitmonlee. And I'm like, please be something good. Please be something good. And it was Aerodactyl. I'm like, well, this is actually rare as fuck, so I'll take what I can get. I, I will get Hitmonlee at some point. I've, uh... <laughs> I've, uh... I've hatched two Hitmonchans, so... Anyway, is there anything else I want to talk about? Um... Guys, this is basically it. I'm done with school. I'm hoping by the next podcast I can say that I've celebrated the fact that all my grades have been posted and they're all good and I can graduate in peace, okay? This semester is fucking done! I wiped off my dry erase board, which I initially had all five of my classes up there and I posted every major test, assignment, project, and I put the dates and then I'd put another column for coming, it would say coming up, meaning... I always knew what the next big thing was so that I could prepare for it because I'm a very visual guy and I have a day planner so I was very on top of shit this semester but you know I still performed weekly occasionally performed week Lee not you know days of the week but like week opposite of strong you know not power lifter but crossfitter I performed weekly in some regards, but I also excelled better than I have ever during my bachelor program, so I'm hoping by the next podcast I can say it's a wrap, I'm fucking done and then it'll be three days before I actually graduate, my my ceremony's on the 17th, like next Saturday but anyway, I'm Jay Dennis this was the Jay Dennis Podcast, I do one every Tuesday, this shit's about to get better, I'm gonna start as soon as I find a new job, because now I can work now that I'm not in school. As soon as I find a new job, I'm going to start investing in a lot of, of new shit. A website, getting this podcast on iTunes, doing the podcast even better, getting some new artwork, all that shit. 
Um, new music for Raptor Riot. Again, go to raptorriot.bandcamp.com. The one thing I have on sale right now is my is the digital copy of my EP, Raptor Riot, Sabotaged. If you're a fan of 90s new metal, early millennium, you know, alternative new metal, it's got three original three original tracks, very strongly resembling old school new metal, and then it's got a cover of Limp Biscuit. If you want to just download that cover for free, it's up for free right now. The whole EP costs two ninety nine. Any anything is great. All right, guys, thanks for listening. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That is where the podcast currently is. It's got its own channel, the Jay Zenis Podcast, and. I think 25 minutes is enough of your life wasted. Talk to you next week.